hello and welcome uh, have you ever encountered this error the column a particular column from the table was not found yes i'm here to give you a quick solution to this particular problem let's dive into it without a lot of talking well number one uh, the, i would want to recreate this problem exactly how it happened then we can have a solution so i'm going to delete this data from my data model and i'm going to get data and I'm going to use the source and admin population version 3. Now, uh, this data is uh, loading. And by the way, this data is freely available on the Orchard Data Exchange. It's a free data you can get from there. And I'm going to load it here. Well, we have our data loaded successfully here. Now, I'm going to re-edit. Uh, if I'm going to make a change on this, uh, this is the data set that we just loaded. I feel like, uh, okay, the admin 0p code is just a repetition having a lot of SSSS. And then uh, maybe I want to rename a particular column again, like uh, the, uh, this particular column uh, called uh, T601 plus. I'm going to say new name. I'm going to give it a new name like that. And uh, oh yeah, I'm going to save it. Now, uh, maybe also let me do one more change not a big change i'm just going to add a new uh a new admin one name i'm going to say a name called sss and save it well there we are so uh now when you come back to our power bi we do a refresh i refresh the data now here we are we get the code admin zero p code of the table wasn't found and i'm going to close how do we solve this error make sure you are on the home tab then you come to transform data and then here we are now <clears throat> in the right hand it's going to show you a lot of the things that has happened maybe any change that you're going to do and everything but then we want to use the advanced editor now here it will list all the changes that you have done and one of the automatic changes that happened two of the changes that happen is promoting headers and then changing I mean applying the data type. So this is where this error is coming from. So error number one, it's saying the admin zero code is not found. So this is the one, this is the admin zero code is trying to say it's not found because it has already listed it when it was giving it the type. Every curly brace shows one table, I mean one column and its data type. Every, if you see every curly brace. So the curly brace that contained admin P0, I mean admin 0P code, is the one that we are no longer interested in because it has been deleted from our data model. So we delete that and say it's done. Now uh, we just close and apply. So if we want to close and apply, it's telling us again the column T plus of the table was not found. Remember, this is true. We have not, I mean, we have renamed it to a name called new name. So we go back there in there same process same procedure nothing else we go to the advanced editor and then we come to the last part remember our t61 plus is here so we change the name to what new name and then we just say this is done we just do a close and apply hola our error should be gone everything nice and clean and if we try to have a table and see the new name that we have added in admin one there we are we have our sss in the middle thank you so much if you like this video and it has managed to solve your problem please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you have any question please add it in the comment section below thank you and bye bye